We have a 103-degree concrete starting line here at ZMAX Dragway. The cloud cover hung around for most of the day and kept the track temp in very manageable form, and, well, that just lets everybody get a little more comfortable. When we have big swings, you got to make big changes. There's a tick over 81 degrees out there right now. Our standard correction is 104.8. Density altitude. I missed density altitude. Wait. Paging, paging, paging. 2,272 feet. Water grains hanging in about 48.56. Weather conditions have not changed much. Track conditions have not changed much. And looking at our final four motorcycles, it literally may come down to who lets the clutch out first. These four have all been fairly well grouped together. We're talking about the two, three, five, and nine qualifiers, and they were fairly close together in qualifying as well. Steve Johnson's won before, but it's been a while. Karen Stouffer's won before, but it's been a while. Joey Gladstone has never won before in the Pro Stock Motorcycle ranks, and for Matt Smith, well, he's won before. It's been a couple weeks. Maybe a month. Mack Rack. Slick 50. And Steve Johnson, he's also kind of loosely associated with the McGahey Racing Team. Denzo spark plugs for Matt Smith. He's the reigning champ on the red bike in lane number two. Lane number three is Karen Stouffer for Big St. Charles Motorsports. The Race Gilman Auto Group and Joey Gladstone trying to bring a trophy home to PSE. We're three across. We're ready to go. Off the starting mark. Reaction time goes to Karen Stouffer. Matt Smith right there. Steve Johnson wins it, 672 at 190, 198 miles an hour. Matt Smith goes 674, 202 miles an hour and comes up short, 7th out. 677 for Karen, 677 for Joey. But Steve Johnson wins for the first time in a long time. And he will take home the trophy in Pro Stock Motorcycle. For Jock down there, his crewman, we've been talking about it the whole time. Steve Johnson's last win, Gainesville, Florida, seven years ago. Take another look up on the NHRA.TV replay. Tremendous race down to the stripe, and Steve Johnson, by seven thousandths of a second, picks up the win. Matt Smith will go down as runner-up. Best light, 020. Worst light, 031. It looked like everybody got comfortable with it. And Stevie J., a couple of years ago, he started actually working on the bike. He started actually figuring out what it takes to go fast. And the performance started coming around. Got a four-valve cylinder head from the folks at Monster Racing Products. And he's got himself another trophy, the first one in a long time. The big scrum you saw down on the starting line was literally about everybody in the Pro Stock Motorcycle ranks saying congratulations to Jock. Let's hear from the winner. For the first time in over seven years, Steve Johnson takes off the leathers to grab that Wally. Steve, you've waited a long time for this. <laughs> you promote my guys. Hey, folks, my brand, our brand, Steve Johnson Racing, be a fantastic human being. And if that is engaged in your brand as a company, Join us. Let our passion drive your sales. We have got, we have so much well, gratitude. Audio difficulty Jock from our NHRA on Fox hook up at the top COVID end. And UAB Hospital. And but for Steve Johnson. All of you hospital work. Don't, don't worry about it. He may still be talking by the time we get to Houston. <laughs>